we're on the beautiful celebrity equinox on a seven night western caribbean cruise we're going to take you along with us for all the fun hi i'm carmen this is brian and if you're new here and you enjoy travel videos and travel tip videos be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss anything let's go have some fun we're gonna head into the sky lounge and if you enjoy karaoke I'll be keeping you entertained from 10 to Wow, look at until this view. Don't be shy. We welcome the good, the bad, and the tone deaf. Here's the Sky Lounge bar. And they're also, or they were, just doing some trivia. Yeah, here we go. Is Rumpy a famous sport in the country? No. Uh oh. It's about Rumpy. It's kind of sad. Oh, he just informed us that Elvis Presley is no longer living. We got these cool little tables. Do I go to the front of the ship? One reason we love the Sky Lounge is the location. It is at the front of the ship and you get these amazing views. I mean, it's just incredible. And we're saying goodbye to the land over there. This is the Solarium, which is the adult only area of the Celebrity Equinox. And as you can tell, it is a pretty chill place and there's actually no one in the pool, which is pretty neat. It's funny, I told Brian I could really feel the ship moving. Our last cruise, the ship didn't move that much that was detectable. Today you can really feel it and this pool shows how much it's moving as the water sloshes from side to side. We're on the Lido deck, so here's the pool bar, and here is the main pool. And there are a lot of people out today, and they have a live DJ. It's pretty cool, the DJ is mixing up multiple songs, and he's been playing Depeche Mode, which we really like, so really great job. Hey! We've come out to our balcony. We are leaving the mainland and heading out to open sea. Beautiful, and it feels so amazing. This is my kind of February weather. Behind the scenes, we've got motion laps going. It's really beautiful out here. Look at this sunset. Look at these ships. And it's funny, the water's already turning a more bright blue. Lots of cruise ships heading out. This MSC cruise ship has gotten really close to us. They were just kind of hanging out without moving very fast and now suddenly they're really picking up speed. Maybe they're waiting for us to go by. Wow, look at that sunset. Beautiful. We're heading to the Silhouette Dining Room, which is their main dining room. We are in the main dining room and we're so excited. We just found out we have the same waiter that we had in September and he was amazing. And here is the menu tonight. Some things are the same every night and other things change you know, each night. So the things in the square are the same and the other items are unique to the evening. And I got a pomegranate mojito. There's my gluten-free bread and Brian's normal bread. And we also have a yogurt. What did cucumber. you see was in a yogurt, cucumber yogurt? yogurt. yogurt. Oh. So I guess like tzatziki kind of. A normal butter and also a horseradish butter. Yum. I gotta try that. You wanna try that yeah. now? I like some horseradish. Yeah. Mm. Is that good? Yeah. Oh wow, that's good. That cool burn of horseradish it is good. Yeah, we both love horseradish. I gotta try that. And we've got our first course. I got a salad. It's an arugula salad. We're sharing the escargot. 
and bring a shrimp Louie. Looks good. It's tasty. Wanna try it? Oh yeah. <laughs> So good. I like that. Right, I'm gonna try Escargo. Mm. So good. Garlicky? Very garlicky. Yes. We got our food. Brian got the salmon, which looks amazing. That looks so good. And I got the prime rib beef. Brian's gonna dig into this amazing looking salmon. So good, it's fresh, straight out of the ocean. We're we'll probably just like cut it right now. <laughs> We're gonna walk through the Fortunes Casino on our way to look at the theater. We stepped into the Equinox Theater, which is their main theater. It has multiple levels to watch the show the first night, which was Topper. It was a really interesting show. We had caught in a tiny bit of it back in September on the ship, but we didn't get to see the whole show. So I really enjoyed getting to see the entire show this time. It's an interesting mix of pop music from all different decades, all different types of pop music, everywhere from sort of top 40 pop, but also funk and different things. They had great choreography, wonderful singing, acrobatics um, really can't say enough good things about it it was a great show very entertaining the entire show was fantastic and we really like the way this theater is laid out um, you can of course sit down near the front in the theater which is fine but we actually enjoy sitting there's two upper levels and those chairs actually have little tables in front of them so it's really great you can grab a drink if you want to and then go into the theater and enjoy the show and as you can see from the show, it had a lot of diversity. It wasn't just one note, wasn't just dancing, just singing. Um, it was a really, really interesting show, and we would definitely recommend seeing it if the show continues, which I think it will for some time. Really fantastic show. <laughs> After watching the game show, we stopped by the World Class Bar for a drink. This bar, we've noticed, opens around 5 p.m. most days on the ship, and it's a really high-end, nice bar. It's near where they have all of the art and the art gallery. Then we went to the main foyer where they had um, dancing and music. Um, it's really interesting. The bands that play here seem to rotate, um, so you don't have the same kind of music every night, and you don't have the same singers every night, and they were always fantastic regardless. This evening, it was sort of music that I would say is from maybe the 70s, early 80s, and it was a lot of fun, and a lot of people were out dancing. Really enjoyed hanging out here and watching all the fun. And as you can see, there's multiple levels here, so you can be on the third deck where this is taking place, but you can also be on one of the upper decks and have a great view. We have had such a great first day so far. It's still going. We're headed to the buffet to see what they've got. Late night snacks. Dinner take two. <laughs> Here's Ocean View Cafe. They have all kinds of churros tonight. If you're curious about what they normally have on the buffet, not just at night, but anytime, we do have a full tour of both the breakfast and the dinner buffet, and I'll link that above. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. All right, Brian's calling this second dinner. So I got a burger, pickles, olives, a little bit of chicken, but I don't think I'm going to eat that. He gave it to me, but it looks really dried out. And also some rice pilaf. And Brian got some Mexican food, some cheese, and also some fries. Came out to the Ocean View Bar to check out this awesome view. Compared to our last cruise, this ship has been rocking and rolling today. It's not what I would call rough, but it's really shifting from side to side. You can definitely feel it. We just got back from the show and other entertainment. So much going on tonight on the ship. And then up to some beach towels and we got 
little chocolates on our pillows. Isn't that awesome? If you've enjoyed this video and you enjoy other travel videos, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now. Also hit subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.